ECAT Concert Productions are sponsored by Doug King Builders Incorporated. ECAT would like to thank all sponsors for making coverage of all this year's concerts possible. My name is Douglas King. I've been a developer and builder since 1966. We've been building for over 55 years. Love what we do. Everything we built is something that I myself and my family would welcome to live in and we've been uh, successful and the people that have bought from us are glad that they've done business with us. It's been a good journey and uh, we have hopefully a lot more to finish before we uh, hang it up. Okay, we're all set. Hi, we're beginning. Thank you for your patience. It's, uh, it's good to see some of the familiar faces here again and to see some, so many uh, new ones. And we thank you for your support and for being here uh, and actually for spreading the word, the word of mouth. That's how this has been building. Uh, and, and we thank you for that. And there have been some, some hot and humid evenings uh, you've sat through here. Uh, and tonight it looks like a perfect night. So it's going to be. So this is the fifth concert of the fourth year of the summer music series and it's sponsored by the Easton Town, excuse me, Easton Shovel Town Cultural District. And I'll read you this part here. The Cultural District is part of the Massachusetts Cultural Council's program to quote, advance the Commonwealth's creative and cultural sector, excuse me, sector, by celebrating traditions and talents, championing its collective needs, and equitably investing in public resources. Um, and the Cultural Council receives federal funding from the National Endowment for the Arts. So that, that is why we're here and also to entertain you. Um, tonight, for our fifth concert, we have something special for you. We have headliners, Jack Colombo to my left. Oh well, and to the right, we have John Strangis uh, on drums. Check. Here we go. Thank you. And there's also, this is a really interesting program. We've never done this before. And I sort of stuck my head in for rehearsals last night. And it's, it's, it's going to be good. There are going to be quite a bit of guest appearances with artists singing classic rock, pop, blues, country, and a little jazz. Uh, and it's, it's going to be a great evening. So moving right along. Uh, I'd like to give the shout out to the gang at the Shoveltown Cultural District who put these Wednesday night concerts together, get everything ready, set up. Uh, we have Joan. Joan is, is there, as always, taking a photograph. Uh, she is the vice chair of the uh, Shoveltown Cultural District and, and pretty much gets these things going. And we have Pam, Kristen, Amy, Suzanne, and Dottie Fulginetti, the chair, who is, who is uh, standing next to me. Take a bow. And uh, Marky and Priscilla. Now they are, tonight, they are probably the most important people here besides the musicians. There's Marky again. He's got over $400 collected. Uh, we hope to break 1,000 tonight. So there he is in the, in the white hat and the blue shirt. And there's Priscilla up at the pizza table, who you can also uh, buy tickets from. And half will go to the winner, and the other half will go to the cultural district. And again, uh, last Wednesday, the winner got $420, so it's good. Um, and finally, we want to thank our local sponsors, uh, the Bank of Easton, Easton, Easton Grange 196, and the Easton Lion. And Rob Goodrich is here tonight, and he will be drawing the uh, lottery ticket. He's the president. And again, we, we have a very good partnership with the Lions, and we're very pr proud and pleased with that. Uh, Premier Properties and Lenny Altieri, longtime supporter, and Gary's Farm in Brockton. Uh, they have flowers, produce, plants, and it's, it's fair prices, you know, reasonable prices. And it's been a family business for over 65 years. I know my mother used to go there to buy the corn. So it's, it's a real institution. And we have some more, yeah, a support our vendors tonight. They've got some great stuff. One second. Anyway, there's Frank Altieri. 
He's right there. And he's got the, he gets the best beer award. He makes his beer. And it's nice and cold. And he also, I think, has wine. And, uh, and then some water as well. And tonight also we've got, again, the free pizza up here. And it's very kindly donated to us by Joe, uh, the owner of House Pizza. Excuse me, Bill's House of Pizza, which is just down the road here on the yellow building. And he gives us a very good price. He's been a good, loyal supporter. So please uh, support Bill's Pizza whenever you can. And the Oak Sands Memorial Hall, uh, we are the official performance and event center of the Easton Town Shovel Cultural District. And now I have the continuing saga of our sign. We, we are still looking for some mention, some mention of the biggest building in town the Oak Sands Memorial Hall, but I guess nobody saw it and there's no sign. So if you can help us, we'd, we'd really like to get back on the map. So thank you. Uh, and now I'd like to introduce the chair of the uh, select board, Dottie Fulginetti. But more importantly, tonight, she is the chair of the Shoveltown Cultural District. So thank you, Dottie. Hi everyone, and I just want to say welcome to Easton. We're so happy you could be here with us tonight. I want to thank all the people that make this happen, all the volunteers, all the sponsors, Oaks Ames Hall. We're glad you're here. This band is incredible. It's nice to see so many new faces, so many young people, little kids, families. This is exactly what we're looking for. So we hope you'll come back to Easton, come back next week for our show, September 16th on a Sunday afternoon. 17th, we're having a big festival, and uh, we hope you'll come back to shop, dine, and play in Easton. So thanks, everyone, for being here. Great. Thank you, Dottie. Um, okay, before we begin, I just want to do a, a quick rundown uh, of, of, of our, our principals tonight. Uh, we have John Strangis, again, on drums. Oh, Johnny! Hey, hey, hey! Oh, Jack's coming alive. There we go. Yeah, I am. Okay. I am. Um, so John's credits include local, regional, and national groups. He has played throughout the U.S., performed extensively on cruise ships and in Europe. Credits include national recording artists, the Drifters, the Clovers, the Chiffons, and many others. John plays with top tribute artists and currently a member of New England's premier oldies bands, the reminiscence. Thank you, John. Thank you, Chris. Correct pronunciation. I get it? You sure did. I practiced yes, and I got right. it I right. Okay. So, to my left, a man that needs no introduction, uh, Jack Colombo. <laughs> yeah, nobody, nobody knows who Jack is, right? So Jack's credits uh, include longtime music director for the Rock and Roll Hall of, of Famers, The Drifters. Jack has played keyboards for over 150 recording groups that have had a top 40 hit, including Al Jardine of the Beach Boys, Grammy winners, The Manhattan Transfer, The OJs, The Mamas and Papas, Mary Wilson of The Supremes. Jack has been music director, keyboard artist for the worldwide broadcast of the PBS Rock and Roll series and also the vocal group Hall of Fame. He is the keyboardist for the, for the Remnant Sands and music director for the Tri Parishes of Brockton. So, John. Jack. Excuse me. I guess I haven't come alive yet, but anyway. So I just, I just on a personal note from the hall, uh, what Jack Should is for this music series, he picks the group. He is the director. He is really the driving force behind the talent end of this series. And we owe, I think, pretty much all our success to his skill and his efforts. So I would like to extend the hall's personal thanks for a, a soup, uh, just a, he's just a super guy. Thank you. Oh, okay. Right, so, with, so, without further ado, I will I will introduce the. There's the band. Thank you.
Check. Oh, there we go. We're there? All right. Good evening, everybody. Hey, hey, hey. So uh, we're going to move things along very, 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 we good? All right, we're in shape. Anyways, going to move things along tonight. John and I typically uh, always did the show as a duo, but we brought in some very, very special guest performers tonight. Uh, we have a few performers that have been here earlier this summer that we'll introduce to you. So we, uh, we're playing everything from jazz to classic rock to blues to contemporary. And so I think there's something here for a little bit of everyone. John and I are going to do just a couple instrumentals to get things running, and then we'll bring our special guests up. We're going to start out with a song by Aaron Copeland that was redone by Emerson, Lake, and Palmer. And we're just going to loosen up. Uh, this is called Fanfare for the Common Man.
Now go, go. Go. All right, we're going to keep moving things along and uh, do a blues tune for you. There's no name to it. We're just going to do a blues tune for you. So. Thank you, fellow keyboard player Bernie. I appreciate it. Bernie Hassan with the Brock Tones. Guy I learned a lot from. Thank you, Bernie. Thank you. All right, one more instrumental, and then we're going to bring this very special guest up. Any Almond Brothers fans? Yeah. Almond Brothers? All right. Okay, here we go. We're going to do a quick medley uh, in memory of Elizabeth Reed and Ladies Brazen and A minor. Here we go.
Oh, yeah, thank you. All right, now we're going to switch things up and uh, bring a very, very special guest up that was here a few weeks back. He actually opened this concert series and he went over so well we need to get him back. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Tommy Rings. Helping us out from the Brock Tones that were incredible in here a couple weeks ago was Bobby Bousquet, bass player. We brought him back, and we have a special guest that first time appearance that will be here uh, a little bit later. Be singing for you, but Allie's going to help out and play guitar. So, hello, Allie. How's everybody doing tonight? Good to be back here at Easton with all you great people. Do to do a couple songs with you, just a little fun. It's the magical mystery microphone tour. <laughs> There we go. I'm used to working in small spaces. This song is a very special song. I'd like to dedicate this to a good friend of mine who's no longer with us, Michael Benoit, one of the best, most creative people. Baby 
Charlie Reigns. Thank you very much. Bobby and Allen joining us on the show. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Yes. So we're, uh, we're going to request to wear this one, actually. And we're going to do this. We're going to uh, do a song by the Beach Boys. That was actually an old folk song before they recorded it, but one of their claims to fame anyway. Check one, two. Jack, thank you guys for letting me hang out for to play a couple of songs. We appreciate it. He'll be back. He'll be back. Now, we, we're bringing in a very, very special guest that happens to be in the youth choir at the church I play at. And she's an amazing, amazing young lady. I'd like to introduce you to Tess Stockson. Come on up, Tess. Now, plays fiddle. And she's competed not only in Massachusetts, but other states. She's one. She's an incredible talent, and I thought it would be really, really good for her to make her debut here tonight. So give a nice round of applause one more time for Tess. I'm going to play an Irish reel. Did I get that right? You're the expert. Like, right? Okay. Thank you. 
Tess is 12 years old. FYI, and an amazing talent. Tess, thank you. Job well done. Proud, honored to have you here, Tess. Right, now up next, we have uh, the gentleman that was the lead singer for uh, the group we had here last week, which I was very proud to be able to work with these guys, Rock Steady. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome lead singer, once again, Bobby Venuto. Don't your feet get cold in the winter time? The sky won't snow and the sun won't shine. It's hard to tell the night time from the day. You lose it all, your highs and lows. Ain't it funny how your feeling goes? Come down from your fences and open the gate. It may be raining, but love there's a rainbow above you. You better let somebody love you. Oh. You better let somebody love you before it's too late. Thank you very much. Bobby Venuto. He's coming back. He's coming back. He's got a couple more, okay? All right. Okay, now. Yeah. Eight hundred sixty-five bucks collected so far with the fifty-fifty. Not bad, right? Eight hundred sixty-five. Little bit of a uh, ring over here. Thank you, sir. We have a very special guest in the house. Where's Georgia? Come on. Please welcome Georgia Tremblay. 
Charger is actually my godchild's daughter, and she's going to come up and do a couple songs, and we're trying to figure out what to do. And uh, where'd she go? She's coming. Uh, actually, we, as you know, we lost a great singer, Tony Bennett, a few weeks ago. So we're going to change the mood completely, go way back and do a couple jazz songs for you that Tony Bennett actually, throughout his career, recorded at one time or another. Please welcome Georgia. Involved in a lot of musical theater and acting, a very bright individual. Thank you. They have her here. Love you. All right. She'll be back. All right. Next in line, uh, we'd like to bring Holly Colombo up. Same last, same last name as me. She's my brother's daughter, my niece, and she's going to do a, a Beatles song for you. Right, Holly. 
Molly's going to do a couple of Beatles songs for you. Still getting a lid ring up here somewhere. Um, you're awesome, Steve. I know you'll find it. If anyone can. Tell you something I think you'll understand when I say that something I want to hold your hand, I want to hold your hand. We're gonna do one more, Holly. Yeah. 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 And this was actually my mom and dad's favorite Beatles song, mm -hmm. and your grandparents' favorite Beatles song. So we're gonna send this out to your grandparents yes, and my mom and them. dad. All right, in memory of them. times of trouble, Mother Mary comes to me, speaking words of wisdom, let it be. And in my hour of darkness, she is standing right in front of me, speaking words of wisdom, let it be. Let it be. Maybe pa. 
One more time for Hal. John and I are going to do a quick instrumental that we do. Uh, Bobby, thank you for your help. You can just hang here a minute, and we're going to bring Shanae up after this, okay? Bring another fine young talent. We got a request for this. It wasn't on the set list, but we're going to do it anyway. This goes out to all the kids and all the young ones at heart.
thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you in the back. Next time, get the 550 chickens in front. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, a very, very special young lady is going to come up. Please welcome Sinead. Mayors. Hey. Sinead is 14. And a few years, a lot of years back, she was my piano student. One day I said, I asked her, Sinead, can you sing at all? She goes, ah, kind of. And that was a total understatement. Uh, she has a lot of soul, a lot of natural ability. I'm very proud to have you up here. Believe in us. Okay? Yeah, about another one. All right, uh, a few months back, um, the Elvis movie came out, and we're going to do a song celebration of the king of rock and roll, Elvis. And many people recorded this particular song, but we're going to do our own rendition. And you sound amazing in this. I'm looking forward to this. So I think you'll all, well, most of you will recognize this. It's called Crying in the Chapel.
You saw me crying in the chapel. The tears I shed were tears of joy. I know the meaning of contentment. For I am happy with the Lord. Just a plain and simple chapel. Take a bow. There you go. Yeah. A lot of talent here tonight, huh? Whoa. Sure, I'll be back. Sure, I'll be back. All right. I'm going to do something a little bit different. Invite Steve up and Tom. How about uh, Steve Gatto? Our sound man is doing a great job. He's going to help us out with this song. And Tommy Rains. It is, I'm cutting out here, buddy. It's last call for the raffle tickets, by the way. Yes. It's at 9.50. Whoa. 9.50. The split? Yeah. yeah. So if you haven't bought, buy some. Check one, two. Oh, So the, uh, I am cutting out, buddy. Want to grab me? Sure. Uh, I think Jack keeps breaking the microphones. I've become a master of the microphone switch. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, right? There we go. Anyways, Eagles, very popular band, numerous hits. We're going to do one that is uh, a little obscure, but still popular. Then we do our rendition of Seven Bridges. Just a little. All right. It's okay. Check one. Yeah, we're good. If I can remember it. We're going to try. Two, two. 
My words. My words. See what happens when you don't do your homework? Yeah. Jack. Jess. Sorry, right, me too. I'll try better this time. Here we go, boys. One, two, three, four. There are stars in the southern sky. Southward as you go. There is moonlight and tossing trees. Down the seven bridges road. Now I have loved you like a baby. a little vocal. Thank you. Very, very good. Eagles. Hey, thank you guys. Appreciate it. Nice seeing you on this lovely Wednesday night. Yeah, thank you too. Love that guy. So, uh, we're getting to, uh, close to intermission, a couple more people to go, and um, I'd like to introduce you to Ali Ariani. I'll yes. round of applause. Yeah, I hear that. Anyways, um, I met Ali a long time ago, yeah. and um, she and I have been very, very good friends and working together, and Ali just started performing again, and... She's multi, yeah. multi, multi talented. She's a songwriter. She sings. She yeah. plays a heck of a guitar. She's been in musical theater. She's writing a novel, and it goes on and oh, on and Jesus on. And I'm Lord. really honored, honored, honored to have her up yeah. here. And uh, we're going to switch the scene over to country now. Okay, Spill any country fans out there? Yo. Spill my whole resume on me, why don't you? Um, yes. Uh, hi. How, I love, how are we? Um, yeah. But yes, um, so, so yeah, so um, by day and kind of by night because concert life, I am a um, union stagehand. Um, and that is one of my favorite forklift drivers right there. Um, I, um, but it's nice to be back on this side of things and I hope y'all will join me on my journey as I write and do all of the things that I've always wanted to do at the same time. Uh, <laughs> so thank you so much for coming out tonight.
I know they say you can't go home again. I just had to come back one last time. Ma'am, I know you don't know me from Adam. These handprints on the front steps were mine. Up those stairs in that little back bedroom. It's where I did my homework and I learned to play guitar. Now I bet you didn't know under that live oak my favorite dog is buried in the yard. I thought if I could touch this place or feel it this brokenness inside me might start healing out here it's like I'm someone else I thought that maybe I could find myself if I could just come in I swear I'll leave won't take nothing but a memory from the house that built me Mama cut out pictures of houses for years from better homes and garden magazines Plans were drawn in concrete for to nail by nail and board by board. Daddy gave life to mama's dream. I thought if I could touch this place or feel it, this brokenness inside me might start healing. Out here it's like I'm someone else. I thought that maybe I could find myself If I could just come and I swear I'll leave Won't take nothing but a memory From the house that built me You leave home, you move on And you do the best you can I got lost in this old world and forgot who I am. I thought if I could touch this place or feel it, this brokenness inside me might start healing. Out here it's like I'm someone else. I thought that maybe I could find myself. If I could walk around, I swear I'll leave. Won't take nothing but a memory from the house that built me. Thank you. So, um, oh, holy, wow. Um, so I do, I'm going to, I'm going to put the guitar away, um, and instead, um, just sing for you guys with, uh, my lovely band supporting me. I love you all. Um, disclaimer, disclaimer for the parents and for the people watching at home. I see my cameras. I know where you are. Um, thank you, Eastern, uh, Eastern, um, Community Access for recording tonight. Um. This is a prop. I am an actor. It is water. Um, <laughs> and this is a song called Hole in the Bottle by Kelsey Ballerini. Um, I think, I hope you enjoy it. There are many people who have learned to drink in moderation without letting it upset the functioning of their bodies and minds. <laughs> Uh, it relaxes you, makes you more congenial, and, well, I just had one sip. It ain't my fault, so don't blame me. I swear I just came here to unwind and have one drink. The way it looks ain't 
what you think. This Moscato has got a way of vanishing on me. There's a hole in the bottle. I just couldn't take the label off. <laughs> oh, that was great. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. One more round of applause for Al. All right. Uh, I'd like to bring up Chori, please. So anyway, two more songs to go, intermission, and then we're coming back with a few more. So don't go anywhere. Keep buying your raffle tickets. People will be around. The pot is getting higher. It's looking good. So anyways, uh, this young lady um, has a special accolade. Um, she was the youngest on record to join the Drifters backing band, Rock and Roll Hall of Famers. She did her first gig with the Drifters, a 90-minute set playing percussion at the tender age of nine. And she's also worked with the Dell Vikings, and it goes on and on and on. And uh, she was also the first on record to be the youngest performer uh, to perform at the Mohegan Sun Casino with Bowser, Shana, Nar, and the Drifters, and the Shirelles in front of 19,000 plus people at the age of probably 11 or 12, yeah, 10. All right, so uh, this is my daughter, one of two beautiful daughters I have, Brianna, this is Tori Colombo. <laughs> Ellie's playing guitar on this. Girl, it's 
what I had to be. He said, take care of your mother, watch out for your sister, and oh, that's when he gave to me. With his gun and his head held high, he told me not to cry. Oh, my daddy said, shoot. Oh, my daddy said, shoot. With his right hand on his rifle, he swore it on the Bible. Oh, my daddy said, shoot. Oh, my daddy said, shoot. Daddy made me a fight. It wasn't always right. But he said, girl, it's your second amendment. He always played it cool. But daddy was no fool. And right before he died, he said, remember. He said, take care of your mother. Watch out for your sister. That's when daddy looked at me. With his gun and his head held high, he told me not to cry. Oh, my daddy said, shoot. Oh, my daddy said, shoot. With his right hand on his rifle, he swore it on the Bible. Oh, my daddy said, shoot. Oh, my daddy said, shoot. He held me in his arms and he told me to be strong. He told me when it's gone. Tori's going to do one more, then we're going to take a break, and she's going to be on her own with this one, bring you up to a contemporary vibe, and don't go anywhere. We're going to come back with about four or five more songs to wrap it up, all right? Thank you. Tori, it's all yours. This is not a time, it's time to say goodbye, until we meet again, cause this is not the end, it will come a day, when we will find our way, violence playing, and the angels crying, when the stars align, then I'll be
We'll be back in a few minutes. Good evening and welcome to another edition of For the Love of Words. After a three year hiatus, Join me, John Holgerson, and Priscilla Almquist Olson as we interview poets and musicians. Could you give the audience a, a little summary of your background as a child? When I turned seven or so, we were car bombed. That stuck out. And have them share their love of words. Sometimes I wonder, do you ever think of me? A thin broth of moonlight caught in the trees spreads across the garden brush, so one side of every stick shimmers while the other sides melt into one another, a mass grave of cherry, pear, and pine. For the Love of Words, at 7 p.m. on Thursdays. There's a storm. Join me, Priscilla Amquistolson, to explore the town of Easton and its interesting, engaging, ordinary, and extraordinary people, and meet a smorgasbord of guests, including artists, authors, musicians, business owners, community organizations, clergy, local leaders, etc., etc., etc. Community Forum at 3 p.m. on Thursdays and 1.30 p.m. on Saturdays. See you then. Hi, I'm Ron Van Dam. I've been in radio for three decades now and have been doing a daily podcast-style show for a few years. But once a week, I come to the ECAT studio where they give me wine and cheese. Hey, welcome to the program. How are you? Good to be with you. Hey, you're looking good today. Thanks for being here. Make yourself comfortable. This won't take too long. It'll be a little bit painful for you, but in the long run, it's important for you to go through this. And I do a TV version of the podcast. I talk about what's going on in the world and in the area and give my opinions on things. Uh, that's both uh, something to look forward to and also a warning. So tune in to see me move my mouth while I talk. Who knows? We might have something in common. Probably not, but you never know. Uh, uh, catch my show here, The Ron Van Dam Show, right here on ECAT. It's The Ron Van Dam Show. Hold on tight. Things can get a bit weird if you like that sort of thing. Don't have time to sit down and watch ECAT programs? Don't worry. ECAT has got you covered. That's right. ECAT has podcasts. Yeah. ECAP Podcast Channel has your favorite shows that you could listen to. For Whether you want to chill and listen to the Ron Van Dam show and hear him talk about what's bothering him that day, or the show hosted by local legends Stephanie Weinstein and Meredith Keach, where they talk about anything and everything, or take a listen to the weekly news hosted by Jack Ryan and Abby Kitchenham. Stay tuned in with Tiger Talk hosted by Oliver Ames students. Community Forum is where the host Priscilla talks about all things Easton. Eastern residents can also find government meetings about various topics. You can find the podcast on Podbean and all your favorite podcast platforms. Just by searching ECAT or the ECAT podcast, you can find it all. The ECAT podcast channel is powered by Podbean, so either in the car ride or walking around town, you can always catch what's going on with ECAT. Happy listening!
This is the last call for the raffle. Uh, there's almost been a $1,000 uh, bought, so if you're the winner, you'll get $500, probably more in the next 10 minutes when it comes in. So anyway, step up right here and buy your tickets. Thank you. We'll be back. The show's starting about another 10 minutes. Thanks. Hi, I'm Wyatt Fain, and welcome to the Music Minute. Today I'm here with... Jack Colombo. Welcome, Jack. Thank you. I can see your band here. You're just playing rock and all sorts of things. Now, I know you played last week with Rock Steady. What's it like playing in, like, two different bands and just being here and coming here again? It's a bit challenging, but I love doing it. I love playing any genre, and uh, it keeps work exciting, you know? I love that. You know, we love having you here and having these concerts. And, you know, like, what type of music are we going to see tonight? Well, typically the drummer and I used to do a duo together, but we brought in some guest artists. We brought Tommy Rains back, Bobby Venuto, and we have a lot of guest singers coming in, teenagers through young adults. So the music's going to be very diverse, um, jazz, rock, pop, contemporary, everything from Tony Bennett to Pink Floyd. So if you can picture that. So. I actually Something love Pink like, Floyd. Yeah, well, you're, we're going to play uh, Money in Time off of Dark Side of the Moon. My favorite Pink Floyd album. That's my favorite Pink Floyd album, yeah. too. It's, it's the pinnacle. It's the best. Yeah. I've been doing this for a few years now. I mean, on and off. On, on and off? off. Yeah. How are you liking Easton? What's that? How are you liking Easton? I Just coming here. I'm, I'm a lifetime Brocktonian. Live on the west side with my family. Um, and I own a, co-own a music school in Easton. Southeast School of Music down on Turnpike Street. And I'm very active with the hall and the preservation of the hall. So I work a lot with OKs, the fundraise and benefit. I love that. That's awesome. Now, you, you teach music. Do you write it all? I've written in the past. I have to get back into it. But yes, I've written in the past. That's awesome. All right, I'm going to love hearing you tonight. It's going to be amazing. What's going to be your personal favorite song that you're going to play tonight? That's a loaded question. Um, it's a good one. Um, well, I love them all. But probably the house that built me is very, very, it's an emotional song. It's the first time I'm doing it tonight, and that's probably my favorite. Yeah. Awesome. I'm excited to hear it. Well, thank, thank you, Jack, so much for, well, you know, having this guys, interview, thank coming you for here. Thank being here and supporting us, and you go ECAT. Go ECAT. Awesome. Well, thank you, Jack, so much for having this interview and being on ECAT and playing tonight. Awesome. Now, see you guys back in the studio. Thank you. Here we go. My name is Harris Young, and after 13 years of talk show experience, I seek to bring you the best in interviews with some of the very best guests around, including, and there we are, experts. I've seen thousands of demons actually come out of the mirror one time. One time. Wow. Musical guests and artists. If I say how I feel. Would you really listen? And interesting characters of all types. I threw that kid across the classroom. I was, I look, he didn't try that ever again. Wow. Join me at Topic Time on your Eastern cable station anytime they want to play it. And I, from what I understand, that's quite a few times a day. And I love it. Hi, I'm Stephanie Weinstein. And I'm Meredith Keach. And we're realtors. With Global Banker in Easton. And wannabe movie stars. Pretty much. I'd actually prefer to be a rock star. Well, yeah. Do not hit panic. The market is not crashing. It smells of stardom. Yep. It does smell like stardom in here. Yeah. Right. But it's very important as you age to have women friends because women are always your support system.
Hello, welcome to Easton News. I'm Abby Kitchenham. And I'm Jack Ryan, and together we bring you everything you need to know about Easton, including politics. The annual town election is scheduled for Saturday, April 22nd, 2023. Community events. Be inspired. Counseling presence, a parent and child coping workshop centered around a new year and new beginnings. And sports. Pressure builds diamonds, so... We, we live by that every day of practice, going into every game. With APCSM guest segment, Pet of the Week. Hi, I'm Katie with the Animal Protection Center, and today we have a little Iris. With help from special correspondent Wyatt Fain. Join us. For Easton News. Playing 6 o'clock, Friday, Saturday, and Sundays. Hi, I'm Jen from Fantasy Crafts. Turn your average household items into fun for the whole family. Let your imagination run wild. It was my decision. You be quiet over there. Fantasy Crafts playing Monday at 3 p.m., Wednesday at 1 p.m., only at ECAT. In 2023, Easton is a tight-knit community of 25,000 people. But with the hustle and bustle of modern life, it's easy to forget our past. A time when Easton's population was 6,000. Everybody knew who everybody, and everybody every, was. And, and, and there was respect. There was respect for, mm -hmm. for everyone. When kids enjoyed great freedom and independence. Everybody was poor at today's standards, but we all were in the same boat and we enjoyed life. So join me, Priscilla Almquist Olson, as I explore what makes Easton so very special with some of its lifetime residents. I think Easton has so much to offer. And if you're living in a community, you have to know it. Watch Growing Up in Easton Tuesdays at 7 p.m. and Friday at 9 p.m. See you then. Hi, sports fans. Easton Community Access Television, that's ECAD, your place for all of Ames high school sports. How about football, hockey, basketball, soccer, gymnastics, swimming, wrestling, lacrosse, field hockey, and more? Join us on Comcast 97 and Verizon Channel 23. Don't have time to sit down and watch ECAT programs? Don't worry, ECAT has got you covered. That's right, ECAT has... Podcasts! Yeah. ECAT Podcast Channel has your favorite shows that you could listen to. For Whether you want to chill and listen to the Ron Van Dam show and hear him talk about what's bothering him that day, or the show hosted by local legends Stephanie Weinstein and Meredith Keach, where they talk about anything and everything. Or take a listen to the weekly news hosted by Jack Ryan and Abby Kitchenham. Stay tuned in with Tiger Talk hosted by Oliver Ames students. Community Forum is where their host Priscilla talks about all things Easton. Easton residents can also find government meetings about various topics. You can find the podcast on Podbean and all your favorite podcast platforms. Just by searching ECAT or the ECAT podcast, you can find it all. The ECAT podcast channel is powered by Podbean, so either in the car ride or walking around town, you can always catch what's going on with ECAT. Happy listening! Okay, the moment of truth has come. Fate, fortune, luck, whatever you call it, there is $505 in the pot. And Rob Goodrich, president of the Easton Lions, is going to do the honors tonight and uh, draw the lucky ticket. So here we go. I just wanted to say on behalf of the Easton Lions Club, uh, we are a uh, group of uh, uh, philanthropically minded people, over 150 people. Uh, which makes us one of the largest Lions clubs in New England, which is quite remarkable for a town of this size of only 24K people. But uh, this next year is going to be a big one uh, for the Lions, hopefully for the town. Uh, we plan to bring back the, the two-day holiday festival celebration. Um, and, uh, and also we have a, 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 a golf uh, tournament uh, on September 25th. So if uh, you want to serve the community, you want to have fun doing it, I would strongly encourage you to look at our website and contemplate joining the East and Lions Club. Now, without much to do, I will choose the winning ticket. Okay, thank you very much. They're a great organization, and we enjoy working with them. Oh, wait a second. Yep. Oh, money. I got it. I got it. 
Okay, the winning ticket is not the winning ticket is nine eight seven seven four two that's nine eight seven seven four two Let's see if i got it I hear a noise. Okay, we. I, I think there is a winner. If they could, they could come forward. Oh, you got to come up. Don't be shy. Advance one to be recognized. Yeah, I know. I know. Hey, read the number again. You want to read? You want to read the number again? Oh, you have it? Awesome. Here we go. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let me take it from here. Okay, hold on. The Lord, the, the winner is Laurie Pyres, who I've known, and most of you guys know. Hold on. Yes, this is it. Lori Pyres, congratulations. You are the official winner of $505. Would you like to, like to say a few words? You can, if not. I just want to say thank you very much, and these shows are awesome. We appreciate them. Yes, okay, great. Glad you won. Okay. Okay, that's it. Oh, 505 Yeah, yeah, is this it? Yeah. Oh, Fred, you don't have to introduce us coming back on. I will.
Mr. Jack Colombo on keyboards. Shanae and Tori back up, please. Just a couple more to go. They uh, decided to do a song together. And, uh, very popular band back in the 70s, Three Dog Night. Georgia? Where is she? Oh, here she is. You, no problem. You've been a great crowd. We appreciate you. Thank you very much. Here we go. It's the lonely 
this number since the number one. All right, we have uh, two more to go. Tori's going to do a special song, and then we're going to bring Bobby Venuto back up and Allie to uh, help us out. So, Tori, it's all yours. I'm trying to hold my breath. Can we start that over? I'm so sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. Apologies. <laughs> I'm trying to hold my breath Let it stay this way Can't let this moment end You set off a dream in me Getting loud Can you Share this with me. 
All right, bringing the boys in the band back up. Right after this, we're going to uh, we're going to uh, do a quick instrument and bring Bobby the Noodle and Allie back up and wrap it up. Okay. <laughs>
some vocal support the last song of the night thank you very much everybody we appreciate it and it's party time john strange is on drums <laughs> jack colombo on keyboards thank you, Bobby. bob Basquet on bass ellie ariadne bobby get us ready <laughs> You guys want to dance a little bit? Maybe? Maybe? You've been thinking about it all night? Come on, let's go. Here we go. We can do it. We can do it. We can dance. Hey!
Now is ready, buddy. Got a sweet, loving woman like mine. You got to be somebody. Got, got a sweet, loving woman like mine. Yeah. Can I get a witness? Can I get a witness? ECAT Concert Productions are sponsored by Doug King Builders Incorporated. ECAT would like to thank all sponsors for making coverage of all this year's concerts possible. My name is Douglas King. I've been a developer and builder since 1966. We've been building for over 55 years. Love what we do. Everything we built is something that I myself and my family would welcome to live in and we've been uh, successful and the people that have bought from us are glad that they've done business with us. It's been a good journey and uh, we have hopefully a lot more to finish before we uh, hang it up. <laughs>